Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video we are going to learn how and when you can use Game Maker drag and drop block which is called Previous Room. Go to Previous Room, so it's one of the rooms, blocks and um, let's see that in action. First of all, uh, we don't need this OBJ collectible all, so I will uh, delete those from my scene those were just for testing and um, yeah I will also um, uncheck the zombie spawner so so far I will have just my um, player on the screen uh, we can imagine this is some kind of dun dungeon and um, you go through the dungeon collect some coins or kill some enemies then after some time uh, some door appears like this when you touch those you go to next level and um, here you are so that works fine but for example I want to go to the previous level to the previous dungeon uh, where are those doors where they have disappeared now so how can I go back in this case so far we cannot go so let's try to add this and let's push maybe this door maybe to the right more like this okay so when this guy here touches those door he will go to level 2 and we need to add some kind of door here which will say go to previous levels to um, bring us back to level 1 okay so um, yeah I will now uh, maybe I will have to use this um, sprite I will duplicate it I will say sprite portal uh, previous uh, and I will try to edit that image maybe to um, yeah maybe to select all of it and then um, paint that in which color in uh, okay so I will start with a blank uh, screen okay so I want to create some kind of simple arrow which says go to the this will be uh, a very fast and ugly but it will oops it will be good enough to yeah so um, maybe I should have done this in some on some layers so I could reuse it for the sprite next okay so a uh, sprite portal previous so this is the image which I have made to use on my obj door uh, which I will yeah I can create them from the scratch so um, I will click on objects right click obj door create object and I will call this one obj door previous up yeah typo and I will use the sprite which I have just made sprite portal so I have now uh, some kind of object without code I will put it here okay so that is my room too and I will delete I will uh, close this one and uh, this one just not to confuse me anymore so um, I want to add which kind of action 
on this object. I want to check the collision like we did on previous portal here with OBJ player 2. So add event collision OBJ OBJ player 2 and when that happens do what? Uh, go to previous room. Simple as that. So I need to find the rooms. Group of blocks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, even they use the same icon for their block go to left. So left um, most of the time represents go back and right go to next. Uh, let's see what kind of options we have here. It will work on the self, on other, on all. So if I click uh, on some of those and I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I don't need that. Uh, that would uh, pick some other object and take it to the previous room. In my case self because uh, no sorry the obj2 in my case right obj player 2 I think and go to previous room means if I'm in this room, room 2, the previous room will be level 1 because we have some kind of room order, we have explained that here, which is defined and you can click and drag the those. We will see that in a moment, but let's start with this one. So you have to worry about all of those uh, details when you code your game because um, sometimes you will make the error by accident and you will forget what uh, how you coded or how you named your objects your rooms and stuff like that uh, in which order or something like that okay so when I go to level 2 yeah okay now I want to go back yeah so I'm here uh, the strange here uh, thing here is that uh, my door here to level 2 because when I touch it it will bring me to next room which is great but I'm here now on my right edge and when I go to this I'm on the left uh, so um, it's kind of confusing if those are the same door that they, they should work like they're on the same position on the screen so like it's uh, it's like when you're entering your room in your uh, apartment or your house it, uh, the doors are always on the same position on the wall you enter those uh, from one side or another but they are not moving they're the same door and in this case the door are uh, going from one to other room which is great but this the the position of the door itself which is changing so we will have to code that somehow uh, so far it will work maybe for some of your games like this if you don't care but for example if this is the dungeon i enter the other dungeon here so how come this door went here or now to the right they should be in the same place for example like in the game of um, Binding, binding of Isaacs, I think, or something like that. When you go from uh, one uh, dungeon to another, you always go through the same door. They don't uh, hop to the other position on the screen. Another problem which I see here, also for most of the games, is that uh, my coins, for example, I have collected all the coins now in this room, and now when I go back, to the room there are they are spawned again so that doesn't make sense for most of the games if you collect something in one room in one dungeon um, then it disappears you cannot uh, this would be like overpowering the the player giving him the too much uh, too easy progress so we will have to uh, code that somehow but again all of those um, uh, ideas which I'm talking about now all of those mechanics and uh, features of the game they are not connected uh, exclusively to this block 
and uh, what we have explained here go to next room but um, to other uh, objects to other code uh, so that's more complex stuff and it's not related to uh, this block only it's out of, out of the topic of this tutorial but anyway you can now for example make some kind of um, complex game to go from a level 1 to level 2 to level uh, 3 to level 4 and so on so you can add like 20 200 2000 levels where you can go from one to another and yeah we can um, also test uh, this one but uh, if yeah first let me change the uh, sprite portal previous I want to make the copy of it duplicate sprite portal next just to make our game a little bit uh, cleaner and okay so sprite portal next uh, edit image uh, yeah I'm not sure if this will work but let me try let me select all of these let me and now this is a movement I need rotation I'm not sure I'm not using this yeah oops it's in <laughs> come on, come on, yeah, it seems it's working more or less, oops. Great, and nothing happens. Uh, oh, here it is, great stuff. It's like it made a copy of it. Anyway, we somehow made it. Um, sprite portal next okay so why have I made this one because I want to uh, obj portal level next I want to change the sprite of it and maybe the name of it so I will have it yeah I will have it like this in my room so um, obj portal level next like let's change that to obj door uh, level next and this one obj door previous let's change that that obj door level uh, prev okay so uh, just to make it more organized and more sane okay so uh, what I wanted to do here is so uh, our game now looks like this I'm on the first level I have the door to the next level come on come on come on and okay so I can go to previous but for example your game designer says okay uh, this is cool but we need more than two levels level one and level two works fine but add another door from level two to level three so what are you going to do you can just reuse this obj door level next and add it for example here and now this door because we have the code take me to the next room okay yeah and also it's interesting that we have used this one um, obj door level previous with events collision and this one obj door level next with block go to next room okay so or maybe yeah actually i made this one i made a mistake uh, hmm. yeah obj let me try maybe it, maybe it's okay okay so um i got confused because i have yeah we have actually used the uh, different code making the same same um, mechanics same object with two different ways one with event one with code okay so what will happen now when i touch 
this one it will bring me back to the dungeon one okay go to dungeon two okay but now when i touch this one it should take me to dungeon three great which is some crazy <laughs> crazy stuff here but it works so uh, what i wanted to show you, you now when you have coded go to next room and go to previous room all you have to do is reuse them in as many levels as you want but the problem here is that you have to um, watch out what those rooms are here like for example in my case room uh, 4 is some crazy room so um, maybe I should go instead of credits room or some other and also you have to worry about as I said before about where you spawn when you touch this go to next or previous room object so we will I, ha I think we have explained that earlier maybe it was for scratch not for game maker but anyway it's the same mechanics same uh, uh, logic same um, same thing just uh, in different game language uh, game maker instead of scratch so yeah we did it in scratch for sure so we will maybe do that in some of the next videos for game maker but so far so good we are making the progress here uh, thanks for watching and see you soon in next videos